All right, today we're going to talk about special products. We talked about, you know, when we're multiplying polynomials and that type of thing, um, and product of powers and all that stuff. There's a couple of different special products. When you're, when you're multiplying polynomials, there's a couple uh, special ones that they have a pattern to it, and it's always going to be this pattern. Right? And so it kind of helps you. you. You save a couple steps by using it. And you, you also know what it should look like. If you do the square of a sum, meaning you square this sum, a plus b squared, when you square it, it's the exact same thing as taking a plus b times a plus b, which gives you this, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So when you do a square of a sum, it's the first thing squared plus 2 times the first thing times the second thing plus the second thing squared. So that's all you do to work it out. So a problem like this, x plus four, right, it's equal to x plus four times x plus four. And instead of having to fool everything out, you know that it's the first thing squared plus two times the first thing times the second thing Right, which I did the second thing first just because of 4, plus the second thing squared. So your answer you simplify is x squared plus 8x plus 16. Because 2 times x times 4 gives you 8x, and then 4 squared is 16. So there's your answer. So we've got 3x plus 5, and it's squared. So this is the square of a sum. We are squaring a sum. So instead of having to work everything out, I know that it's always the first thing squared, which is 3x, plus 2 times the product of this first and second thing. So 2 times 3x times 5. And then it's always the, the second thing squared. Okay? So instead of fooling everything out, okay, I would, I'll get the same thing. So 3x squared or 3x when I square it you get 9x squared because you square everything on the inside uh, 2 times 3x times 5 that gives you 30x and then 5 squared is 25 All right, so that's your answer it's a whole lot easier work it's a whole lot less work than taking 3x plus 5 times 3x plus 5 and foiling everything and then you have to add the terms Add like terms to get this, okay, you know it's always going to be this pattern. If you're not for sure, then you can do it that way. You can do it the long way if you want to check your answer. Here you've got 8c plus 3d, and you square it. So I take the first thing squared, 8c. I do 2, I add that to 2 times the first thing times the second thing. And then I square, I add that to the square of the second thing, the second number. 8c squared gives you 64c squared, because 8 squared is 64, c squared is c squared. I take 2 times 8 times 3, you get 48cd. And then 3, 3d, when you square it, you get 9d squared. And there's your answer. All right, now there's also a, a pattern for the square of a difference, meaning when you're squaring a subtraction problem. Uh, one thing I need to point out, though, okay, and this is what messes people up, is you, in here, you have to think of B as a negative number, right? And if you have to, if you want, you could write plus negative B, okay, but you have to think B as a negative for this to work out, for you to get everything right. So when you take A minus B and you square it, it looks just like this if you were to do a minus b times a minus b. When you FOIL it, what you do is you get this, which is the first thing squared minus 2 times the first thing times the second thing plus the second thing squared. So, so if you were to think of it, it's the square of a minus twice the product of a and b plus the square of b. So let's do an example. X minus 3 is being squared. So I take the first thing squared. I subtract 
or and I subtract two times the first thing times the second thing, and then I do uh, the next thing squared. So I have to think of negative three squared, which gives me x squared minus six x plus nine. Right. A lot easier than if I was to try and foil. Right. And, and do do our foil, it's a lot less work. All right, so let's do the first one together. 2x minus 5y, we're squaring it. This is a different, or square of a difference. So I take the first thing and I square it. 2x, I square it. And I do minus 2 and I do the first thing times the second thing. Well, yeah, so it actually, I think of that as 5 y um and then i would do i add the square of the next thing so i do negative five y and i square it um, so here i didn't think of this is negative five y because i have the minus two if you wanted to uh you could say this is plus and that's minus five but eventually you're gonna have minus two so it's whatever you want to do. So 2x squared gives you 4x squared. When we take 2 times 2 times 5, uh, you get 20xy. Because you got x, you got y left. And then 5y, when you square it, you get 25y squared. So there's your answer. 6p minus 1 squared, so I take 6p and I square it. I do minus 2 times the first thing times the second thing. And then I do uh, the second thing squared. So I should have 36p squared minus 12p plus 1. All right, the last one we're going to do is, is the product of a sum and a difference. So when you're multiplying a, a plus and you're multiplying a minus, when they're exactly the same terms, right, you end up with this, and that's the first thing squared minus the second thing squared. That's right, Because when you FOIL it, and you actually did this on a couple of the problems from the homework on Thursday, that gives you a squared, that gives you negative AB, that gives you positive AB. Well, what happens when you have positive AB and negative AB? They cancel each other out, and then you have negative B squared. So all you do for a problem like this is you take the first thing squared, and then you subtract the next thing squared. So the square of A minus the square of B. So 2x squared squared gives me 4x to the fourth. Because we're raising a power to a power, you multiply. And then 3 squared is 9. So there's my answer. If you're not for sure, if you want to, go ahead and FOIL this. FOIL these until you can, you know, check in your answer. FOIL these until you get it figured out. But you can you can see here that. Why don't we do the power? So let's do three n plus two times three n minus two. This is the you know the product of a sum and difference. I'm multiplying the exact you know opposites here. So I just take the first thing squared minus the second thing squared. It gives me nine n squared minus four. All right, so let's do the next one. Do you see a problem? Are these, is this a product of a sum and a difference? No solution. No, it's not no solution. Like, these aren't the same thing, are they? 4C and 4X, are they the same thing? No. No, so could I use our pattern for this? No, because they're not exactly the same. Hey, and I just put that in there just to mess with you. All right, replace X with C. Now I want you guys to work it out. So now that I've changed it, now that it's a product of a sum of difference, because they're exactly the same thing, except one's minus one plus. 
me. I take the first thing squared minus the second thing squared. That's all I do. So it'd be 16 c squared because four times four times four or four squared is 16. Okay, and then c raise the same power c squared. And then I've got 7d squared. So 7 times 7 is 49. And then that's d squared. So there's my answer. All right, here's your homework summit for today.